Hello everyone, Prey Scooter here, and welcome back to more of Tears of the Kingdom. Last time we had a very lengthy discussion about paying attention no matter what you're doing. And now, I'm going to do not that, because I don't learn from my own lessons. No, I, I did mention, you know, I use dancing as a, uh, as a starting off for the talking point of that. I think I've got like a handful of, I think I've got a handful of online friends who kind of would understand that to a bit. Or don't know, or do know it, or do know it. I mean... I don't think I've talked about it very publicly, but the knowledge is out there. Oh, right, I was going to go to that. The knowledge is out there of it, so it's not like it's taboo to know. Uh, in high school, you know, I did say in high school I was very much a band geek, or um, I was a music geek. I was that guy who took several... Uh, <sighs> there's a fight out there. Um, I took I took every extracurricular I could to that involved music by the time I graduated high school. Um, for for our, uh, for references sake, for our high school, marching band was part of the curriculum for just band in general. So if you were in band, you were forced to be part of marching band as well, or pep band as it was called. And it did count towards part of your grade. But yeah, so lack of a better lack of a better term, you know, or lack of better uh, circumstances, you know, I was part of pep band. I was part of pep band. I was part of. Uh, I was part of pep band. I was part of the jazz band. I was part of uh, show. I was part of show choir, which is choreographed dance. Uh, I took regular choir. I was the I uh, my senior year. I was the TA for. I was the teacher's assistant for my choir teacher. You name a way I could have been part of music in high school. That was me. I was there. I was him. You know how I say he thinks he's him? I actually was him. Anyway. That was just... I glanced over it. We did open that chest, right? Yeah, we did. Okay, it was just large crystallized. I got so caught up in the conversation about being the music nerd that I forgot what I was doing. <laughs> ah! Help me! Don't help me. This I, I actually like it here. I like this. I like it here. My own, own little pocket of insanity. Uh, up. I want uppies. <laughs> oh, we're going right towards the fight. Fantastic. I, I actually do want this. This isn't be, me being facetious or trying to be melodramatic about it or anything. I actually want to, I actually want this fight. I want this smoke. Can I see it on the map even? Yes, and barely. I think we're going to do this, and then we're going to go straight north. That's that's my plan, anyway. Do you happen to have any uh, carts on this platform? You do not! Of course you do not, because why would you have carts that would be useful? I can just make a cart. So, uh, that's why I brought up dance, is because... You would not think. Uh, keep in mind, like, I think, oddly enough, me, me at this point in my life... Like, usually when you're in high school, you're at, like, your most fit... But I think right now at this point in my life, I'm actually more in shape than I was in high school. Despite the fact I did all these, uh, I did all this music, I did all these, like, extra music stuff. All this extra music stuff, all these extra co or extracurriculars. I, uh, yeah, I did all these extra, move your head. Where's, where's it, where's it, where's it, where's it, where is she, where is she? I will tear you apart bit by bit if I have to, to, have to get at it. Oh, it's like a backpack. Why you ha why bro, I need to see your backpack. Wait, I just realized I'm in combat and I'm not using my combat gear. Where's my combat gear? Bro, where's my there it is. My 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 inventory is a mess. We might be able to two cycle this guy actually with the combat gear on. Oh, it's uh it's time for it's time to stop time. But I guess the uh the whole at ah, hate. The wholesome takeaway from all this, after I say the word hate with enough vitriol to jumpstart a car, the wholesome takeaway here is: do if you're gonna do something, do it. Do it slow. Don't jump both feet first in like I tend to. Do it slow and methodical. And then when you are, and then when you feel like you can promote. 
are you feel like you can be, you're a master of enough to teach other people, do as such. That's like a philosophy I have. It's like if like all of my uh, all my video creation, all my video creation uh, knowledge I have, I taught myself. I actually looked up zero guides on how to make videos. I looked up zero guides on how to make videos. I just I learned how to do everything myself. So all the stuff that you see me doing on here, like all the little jump cuts and edits and all that stuff, that is me, myself, and I learning that stuff. But I would say, like, if somebody asked me, can you teach me how to do this thing in editing? I would say, what's sweet? And we would go from there. The Construct hasn't done that variation of that attack, actually. Which is strange. Anyway, up we go. Uh, up the rest of the way. Thank you. Uh, up the rest of the way, please. There it is. Just so I can see what's going on. There we go, two cycle in this time. Actually, this ha does this weapon have durability up? It does. I was like, man, it didn't break yet. I'm surprised. Ooh, cannons. Ooh, bad ideas are incoming. Actually, a bad idea is incoming. Oh, no, a bad idea is incoming. No, do not attach a cannon to the front of your shield. You will kill yourself. Even though it is Zonai and Zonai action. Hot. Uh, this is a bad idea. Anyway, let's, let's turn ourselves a little bit north here. Not fully north, uh, northeast mainly. Because right now my goal is actually to, because we're getting, aha. Oh, actually a couple ahas. Now that we're like through some of the hot area, and we still have some of the hot area to go back to. Where where was it? There it is. We, do, we still do have a little bit of the hot area to go back to. Now that we're out of the hot area, like, I feel like what I'm going to do now is I'm going to like, find the north, most northeastern eastern corner I can tackle for now because I think there is a there is an issue with the most northeastern corner of the map in that it's disconnected in the depths it's disconnected from the mainland so to say This is, don't worry this is all according to cake uh, it is disconnected from the mainland so I can't <clears throat> excuse me it's disconnected from the, uh, the what's in the, actually in the most northeastern corner is disconnected from the mainland, so I actually can't fully finish the depths, I think, right now. But we will be able to finish the depths uh, what, once we can uh, get there on the surface level, then the depths will be finished at that point. At least from what I can recall. I could be wrong. I mean, we've already had at least two instances where something in the depths is not connected to the mainland. Anyway. I see your light. I see you. I love doing that. So we are, but yeah, we are going to be going to the upper, to the uh, northeastmost corner as far as we can, and then kind of swooping down around from there to find everything else. Uh, there is a handful, there is a handful of things I remember that are disconnected. There's one thing I remember specifically. There is a thing I remember specifically, uh, that is a, well, we are, uh, ugh, words. It will be necessary for us to go from the surface to the, to a depths area. Oops, burning, burning my weapon. It will be necessary to go from a surface area to a depths area to get a, one of those treasure chests I've mentioned several times over. But... And it's like the only instance of that that, that happens. But once we're done doing, but once, but that's like the only time we'll have a optional disconnected depth, uh, surface to depths kind of thing happening. Anyway, I'll steal your boat. I'm gonna steal your boat. Thanks. I'll return it never. Actually, I'm gonna return it right now. Watch this. Okay, that was that looked a lot cooler in my head before I did it. Could you? Oh, that's my booty you're shooting. That's my money maker. That makes. Me, ow! My money maker. It's been shot. Police alarm! Alarm! <laughs> uh. Oh, I love doing that. I love having moments like that.
but the real back like i've wondered if i could get back into i wonder if i could get back into choreographed dance in some capacity oh this well this won't be that bad i'm not sure why i'm doing this but we're doing it oh that one's way up there okay you know what i'm gonna do um i'm gonna do one of these there, that's that. Now I'm going to go back. Because I don't... I'm fairly certain that nothing good will come if I try and swim across to there. But I wonder if I could ever get back in the choreographed dance. I'm no good at freestyle dancing. Like, I know that for a fact. I've already made a comment in a previous episode where it's just like, Hey, guess what the complexion of my skin is as I attempt to talk street words. Or cur current slang words. Guess what? Guess what complexion my my skin is. If you said not uh, anything besides mayonnaise on white, you're wrong. But choreographed dance, I definitely can get in. I definitely can do, and I've definitely done in the past. I just wish. I wonder. I don't know if I could ever find that video. Maybe I'll make a call up post because I still do. I still do have my uh my uh swing choir or show choir uh. I still do have my uh, show choir uh, teacher as a friend on site. I should not mention that I have that I use once every three months. But I still do have her on that website. I wonder if I should can get in contact with her if she has like some of my stuff. Uh, if she has any of my uh, performances archive that I could ask of her to if she could help me uh, un archive it. Then again, half the reason I was I was her TA, or half the reason I was her TA at the time, or her teacher's assistant at the time, was uh to help her with technology. I love this woman. She was a fantastic teacher, real pure heart. You know, she was probably one of my favorite people I have ever met in my life. But her and technology never got along, ever. Like, she is that, when you think of a person who is technologically inept, you need to think of, you need to think beyond computers when you think of this kind of person. She had trouble with toasters. There was more than one instance where she had, where she came out of her office dragging a toaster by the cord with a Pop-Tart on fire, spitting flames out of the slots in the toaster. I want you to I want you to pull back in the in that story I just told to realize the focal point of this happened more than once. <laughs> oh god, she was so unfortunate with with anything that was electric. It sucked. And she was forced to use it so and she, and this was the and she was in a she was uh, kind of in the last decade or so of her teaching. Let's see how close I was to my mark by the way. Oh, I was so dang close. You know what? I'm just going to leave that there. But, like, she, uh, the last decade or so of her teaching, she was definitely trying to teach in a world, in the world we're in now, where everybody can use technology flawlessly. She was definitely, uh, basically ending her teaching career with that, uh, looming over her head of, like, you're going to have to learn technology, unfortunately, because the world is, go is trending this way. Oh, I feel so like I did so much do for I did so much technology stuff for her. That's mainly what I did is I was basically as bad as it is, I was basically her IT guy. Her IT guy when she couldn't figure out how to make her computer work. Keep in mind at this point, you know, two, 2005, 2006, circa that era of of technology, a lot of uh a lot of things that you the viewer were would uh a lot of things that you would consider a slow computer were fast in that time frame. I'm pretty sure whatever phone you have that you are watching this on or that you use to keep communication with anybody you know, the phone you have is three to four times as powerful as this computer I had to do IT work on effectively. But technology wasn't... Uh, we weren't super technologically... We had some technology prowess, but we weren't super technologically advanced yet. We were like just start we were just starting to get there in the grand scheme of things. Anyway, I mark it here and I'm 
we're gonna light this up here, but I'm fairly certain there's gonna be a, just a solid wall. Yep, it's just solid wall. So that's why I thought we cannot. Yeah, we cannot go to the most north. We are uh, for the lack of better uh, ladder. Yeah. Lack of better things. We are basically at the most northeastern part of the map. There is still... I can do this. There is still this out here. I'm going to just put a pin here for, to remind me that this is out here. Uh, we'll worry about that later. But yeah, we're at the most northeastern corner of the map now. So if I zoom out, that's what it looks like. I need to backtrack. Well, what are all you? Black and a white boss. Silver boss. When this thing was pr more prevalent in my childlike years, we called the toughest enemies white, not silver, white. Thank you, original Legend of Zelda. You are making my word choice incriminate me. I realize that only sounds super bad to me, but also no, I am very much the demographic that would get lit up like a Christmas tree for saying stuff like that. That is another... Man, there is a talus out there. There is a... There is just so much stuff between me and the edge of the world. I could just come back here, but I'm already on the warpath. So while, being, while I'm on the warpath, let's just go ahead and choose violence. And you... Uh, you think you're you think you're him? And let the let the melee be begin. There you go. Go after your lackeys. You're gonna your bow's gonna burn up. But actually, this will work out in my favor. Well, if it's gonna break, might as well break it all the way. Oh, good. I can use this. Did you have a weapon? No. The boss is chasing me, so I'm gonna just run headfirst into this bull goblin. Oh, I don't have a weapon. Haha. <laughs> Scooter, remember that thing you need? A weapon in order to fight? Don't worry, I'm working on it. Give me a minute. Oh boy. Hey, thanks. You helped separate everything out so I can actually fight you. Hi. Can you not can you not hit me if I'm this close to you? You probably can. I'm just getting very lucky. Man, you are sturdy. I man, I shot right under your armpit. Never thought I would ever say those words. I didn't have a weapon out, so that didn't work. You know, this works out pretty well. That worked out pretty well, I'm not gonna lie. Hey, I got a royal broadsword. And you have a piece of you that I would like to Yep. Nope. You decide I didn't you decide against it. Sorry, that's not how this works. I want this on here. Now let me go back to this one. Uh, what's a lovely day? The birds are singing, the stars are crying. And I and I'm and I'm slaughtering the innocent. Just today was a good day. Starts playing. God, what is this? Is that the name of the song? I know it plays in Friday, or is it the the next Friday? Or is it next Friday? I forget. I forget. I actually have only seen those movies once each. And I believe it was actually a song that was done by Ice Cube himself for the movies. But I want to say. The song today was a good day, or what, or however that goes. I want to say that was made for the for Friday or the next Friday. Those oh god, right? Oh boy! Please don't start me up in front of that. Please don't start me back off in front of that camp. Please start me after the camp, please. I'm begging with what little of my of my soul I have to beg with. I hate you. 
Let's leave the very salty Scooter to handle his own fights. Anyway, everyone, I do want to thank you all so much for watching this episode of Tears of the Kingdom, and I hope to see you back here next time. Take care, everybody.